Lee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sitting here and listening to some of the members of the opposition talking about moral, higher moral grounds, it reminds me of a time um, when the previous Labour government was actually in power, and I think Mr. David Parker sort of quoted and saying, higher standards of our PM's predecessor. Shall I just mention Tito Philip Field? Can I actually mention Paintergate? And can I actually say, at least our Prime Minister, John Key, paints his own pictures. And uh, Mr. Parker, or is that Mr. Cagle, or is that Cunliffe, I can't remember, uh, must have polled his own lounge room because that's the only reason he will actually get that kind of a result. Money doesn't grow on trees, Mr. Speaker, or be found at the bottom of the garden where pixies live. But that's exactly what Labour Party seems to believe. Or maybe they're just under the belief that their fairy godmother will return to give them some ideas on how they'll finance their policies, as they certainly don't seem to have any answers. Their leader, Mr Goff, talked about lowering GST at the cost of three billion, not three million, three billion dollars. The deputy leader, Mr Cunliffe, or shall I call him Mr. Cagle promised that Labour will not go on a spending binge. It will not, I mean, it will be good to know how they're going to actually conjure up that extra money, as that's exactly what they will be doing, conjuring. Labour's financial management, or rather mismanagement, has left us facing a def decade of deficits. They were hoping to get some magic to get us through these difficult times, but the New Zealand public saw through the magic trick and wanted a national government, a safe and sound economic managers to get us out of the rut and move this country forward, sir. What about Labour's promise to use KiwiSaver to help Kiwis save more without increasing the squeeze on their income today? Who's going to pay for that? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably the same story from that side of the house. Just slap it on the bill, Mr. Phil. Goff. Maybe in view of Mr. Goff's mistaking Mr. Cunliffe as Mr. Cagle, maybe, you know, uh, speaks louder uh, about the inner workings of Mr. Goff's mind. Perhaps he's yearning for the old days when Labour privatised everything, or just a reaction to the undermining nature of the factional currents, strong currents, apparently. Did we not actually hear about the 17 friends of Tiata to member Chris Carter who were actually working mm, against the... More now. Oh, is it more now? Oh, wow. Maybe that is the problem. Strong currents for the leadership coup. But maybe, you know, the prince is not quite ready to rock the boat just yet. And another magic show Labour is relying on is that people, the New Zealand public, will forget that under the long nine years of Labour government, savings actually fell. Inflation soared. Spending actually increased. And many Kiwis actually left New Zealand. And that's not a good sign when Kiwis actually leave our country. They don't actually want to be Kiwis and they actually want to go live elsewhere. We're trying to attract them back to this country so that we can actually grow this country as a nation. Labour actually say that they want to reduce our debt faster. But at the same time, they're promising to take GST off fruit and vegetables, immediately resume contribution to New Zealand Super Fund, increase the number of Wellington-based bureaucrats, oh my goodness, they're going to be hated, require smaller dividends from SOEs and establish a raft of new grants for hand-picked businesses and extend the paid parental leave scheme. Well, Watch out, New Zealand. The only way Labour can actually do this is to raise your taxes and spend less as a government. It is, go it is delusional that they think they can actually achieve it without raising the taxes. It is surely the way they are actually headed. Whereas this New Z national government, we have actually built our economy plan around six policy drivers. And strengthening our tax system, National has delivered, yes, Mr. Uh, 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 
forgotten his name. Mr. Burns, Mr. Burns, sorry about this. Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Burns. Uh, yes, we have actually delivered on the tax cut that we actually promised for nine long years while Labour was in power. When did New Zealanders actually get tax? Oh, that's right, just before the election. Just before the election. Oh, my goodness.